when the weather is not exactly great outside, a lot of the time you might just want to lay around all day. But I feel more like drawing something. And today I will draw in this little sketchbook of mine. It has very thick paper, so there's hardly any bleed through, which makes it perfect for drawing with ink. Well, and as you can see, there's already a lot of stuff in this sketchbook. Um, a lot of stuff that you can actually see on my channel, like these pelicans, they're linked in the upper right corner. Um, and since the weather is dark and gloomy, I want to draw a lamp to, you know, bring some light in here. And I will start by drawing with these Crater Color Studio Line pencils. I like them a lot because they're made in Austria, just like me. And I will start out by sketching out the big um, shapes and forms of what I'm trying to draw here. I have a reference put on my screen as I'm drawing and um, this stage is the most important one no matter what you draw. Um, in my case I'm drawing a lamp as I said and you know that needs to be, it, it needs to look, um, you know, um, it needs to have a symmetry to it, it needs to look exact and um, whenever you're drawing something like buildings or you know objects that are meant to be straight and um, have edges and everything, um, you immediately notice if something is shorter than it's supposed to be or something isn't symmetrical. So you need to watch out and really have a lot of guidelines, um, lay down a lot of guidelines before you start to draw like I'm doing here. So first all the big shapes and forms and then I will start adding some smaller details like um, the air vents I think, you know, sort of, what do you call those things, those round things, so the, those air um, oxygen that can go to the flame. So it doesn't extinguish and also the smoke can come out of it and whatever, I don't know. Air vents, let's just call them that. And yeah, it's a lot of fun um, drawing something like this. And um, this time instead of just, you know, doing my usual um, technique of shading, I do like a lot of cross hatching and just, you know, general um, line shading and stuff like this. And this time I will do something slightly different. This time I will do um, stippling, like you read in the title. And stippling is a technique that I really, really like. I have done a lot of stippling in the past, um, like this thing that I drew for a friend. Um, it is very time consuming and very, it's a very tedious process, but I love it. And I love the outcome of it. I haven't done it in a long time, so this, um, the end product of what I'm doing here, of the lamp, it's not a perfect example of stippling, but you know, as I said, I didn't do it for a long time. And it's good to yeah to do it again. It's uh, at a certain point, it's almost like a meditative process. You know, you just sit down and you stipple, 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 and you can zone out a little bit, which is you know what art and drawing is for, anyways. At least in my opinion, it's not f for me. It's not always about the end product. It's um, it's about the process. That's what I think. It's cool, you know. And yeah, the first big um the first outlines I will do with this um, V10 Pilot um, ink pen. I love this thing, it's really really cool. Made my first mistake here, but you know, you won't be able to see that once. You know, all the lines look a little bit wonky in the beginning when there is because it's a v really, really thick, dark black um, line on like a perfectly white surface. You're gonna see every single small mistake, every single little wonky line. You're gonna see everything. Um, but once you, but once you go in, uh, go in with the shading and the stippling, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna look um, more okay. <laughs> but yeah, first I'm drawing in all the outlines, and then we'll get to the stippling.
continue with the stippling. I'm gonna start out first with um, really, really small dots. Yeah, so with a very fine, very thin um, micron pen, I'm gonna start out by just, you know, laying down basic, um, basic surface of dots that are equal everywhere. Um, no matter where it's gonna be light or shadow, it's gonna be like a basic layer of dots. And then I'm gonna come in with a slightly um, thicker pen, like you can see here, and I'm gonna lay in some, you know, more heavy dots. And I'm gonna come back with the smaller pen and, um, you know, just make sure that I have an overall texture so you can differentiate between dark and light and you can see it on the second handle of the lamp you can see it much better first the smaller one and then then the bigger pens uh, the bigger dots and yeah it's a tedious process um, i've placed my watch at the side of the drawing so you can see how much time passes i don't even really remember how long it took me um I, mean, I need to look at the at the watch in the video <laughs> but yeah, it's a really time consuming process but as I said, you can zone out a little bit and have fun. And what I like about the stippling is that you can control everything um, really well. Um, it's an easy way of, of controlling light and shadow and reflection and everything. Um, because all you need to do is lay down dots. You just need to put some dots here and there. And boom, you have a like a metallic reflective surface. and. And you have um, light and shadow and so as a beginner if you're a beginner and um, you want some basic understanding of light and shadow do some just some stippling not big work like this this is kind of unnecessary what I'm doing here um, this is more like a thing for you know for looks but um, as a beginner you know do small things like um, small small shapes like a ball for example a ball on a table really small drawing, much more smaller than the one that I'm doing here. And just do it with dots and learn to control light and shadow and reflection and everything. So yeah, I like the outcome. As I said, it's not perfect, but you know, who really cares? Um, <laughs> it's about the process. It's about having fun. And I hope that, uh, you know, you had fun with this video. I didn't upload in a really long time. I got a new job and it's been, you know, kind of an adjustment period to that job. And I um, really needed my free time to just, you know, zone out a little bit and um, digest everything new that I've learned in a way. And so, yeah, but I'm glad to, you know, have, uh, you know, fitted in into this job now and um, kind of know what to do and how things are going down. And so it's going to be a lot easier to and find some free time to for my hobby for what i like to do for drawing and art and youtube and everything and yeah we're approaching 600 subscribers that's really awesome thank each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel it means a lot to me and it's so cool to see those numbers go up like i've never thought i had that to have that many subscribers 600 of course nothing nowadays but yeah really really cool for me that's that's awesome thank you guys so much i appreciate you watching subscribe to the channel if you like this video i would be really really glad um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you around on the channel okay goodbye